all right welcome everyone to my youtube channel my name is precious Ubweze. all right and um, in this video we are quickly going to look at some uh you know special problems that is involved in use of rationalization of sorts <clears throat> you recall that we have talked about rationalization of sort which is uh, the process of removing radicals from fractions containing radicals as the denominator so the process of removing the radical is what we call the rationalization of the sword and all we do uh, the process of doing that is to multiply both the numerator and denominator with the conjugate of the denominator and so now look at this question it says express this root 3 all over root 3 minus root 2 in the form this where these are going to be integers that is to say we need to rationalize this remove this denominator and we'll have this form and that in the end that what we have here as our p the rational term should be a whole number whether positive or negative and the same should be the case for q okay so quickly let's do that so what are we going to start with so we're beginning with the rationalization of what we have so we multiply with the conjugate of the denominator which is uh, root 3 plus root 2 and when we do that what are we going to have so you would see that uh, of course this root 3 is going to multiply each term here so root 3 times root 3 is root 9 which is 3 and root 3 times root 2 is root 6 all over and then for the denominator you are going to have because both of them are conjugate just use this to multiply this minus use this to multiply this and that's also root 3 times root 3 is 3 minus root 2 times root 2 is 2 okay so this is going to give us root 3 plus root 6 all over 3 minus uh, 2 is going to give us 1 and this is of course equal to 3 plus root 6 and that is what we are required to do and if assuming we we're asked to find the value of p and q so your p would have been 3 and our q would be what 6 which is the, the radicand what if found under the radical however you know considering the question here our answer is just uh, this okay so quickly we will go to the next example Okay, the next one here says that we should, you know, given that this is equal to this. Now, this is this same question structured in a different way. Now, this is also just asking us to put this in this form. Now, in this case, our radicand is 10, meaning that whatever we are doing here, that the radicand here must be 10. And then whatever is found here as a coefficient is our B, and the rational term here is our A. And so when we find this A and B, we should just take their difference to get the value of what we are asked. And so to start with, we are going to begin with rationalizing this sort. And so to rationalize, we are going to multiply by the coefficient sorry the conjugate of the denominator which is uh, 3 root 2 in this case minus 2 root 5 and so we do the same down minus 2 root 5 okay so here now we would want to uh, find the the would want to find the the multiplication of this and so 2 root 2 is going to multiply each of this term and minus root 5 will do the same so 2 root 2 times this your about 2 will multiply 3 that's coefficients will multiply themselves and that will give us 6 times our root 2 will multiply root 2 to give us 2 then the next thing now is 2 root 2 will multiply minus 2 root 5 and that's going to give us minus 4 root 10 and then we are done with this so we go over to this one there's minus root 5 multiplying 3 root 2 and that's going to give us minus 3 root 10 and then finally minus root 5 will multiply this minus times minus 2 will give us plus 2 and root 5 times root 5 will give us 5 this will be all over and so at this point we are going to have 
3 root 2 times 3 root 2 which is 9 times 2 minus uh, 2 root 5 times 2 root 5 which is 4 times 5 okay so and at this point what are we going to have we are just going to have that um, okay we'll collect the ones that don't have radicals that's 6 times 2 which is 12 plus 2 times 5 which is 10 and that will give us 22 and then minus 4 root 10 minus 3 root 10 will give us minus 7 root 10 all over two, 9 times 2 <clears throat> will give us 18 minus 4 times 5 which is 20 and that is minus 2 okay so from here now to put it on a, you know in this form we'll need to separate this into two fractions and that is going to quickly give us um so here we are going to have minus 22 all over 2 then now this is minus 7 all over minus 2 so that will change to plus 7 over 2 and then you have your root 10 okay so and that has satisfied the form we are asked to find and immediately what we have here um sorry let me use this what we have here becomes our a and what we have here becomes our b and so we can then say that this means that our a minus b is equal to minus 22 all over 2 then minus 7 all over 2 and because both of them have the same the same denominator just choose a common one which is 2 and that will give us minus 22 minus 7 and that is minus 29 all over 2 which if you put in a you know mixed fraction or mixed number form will have minus 14 whole number 1 all over 2 as the solution and that's the solution to this problem okay so we'll quickly go to the next one and our next problem here says we should find um, the solution to okay this we should put this in this form now there's a little bit difference here in this case we are having two radicals and so we have k root 2 plus t root 2 so we should put this in this form and then find the value of k and t where there are rational numbers meaning there can be whole numbers fractions decimals negative or positive okay so let's quickly start so we'll start with uh, rationalizing the sword we are given and that is root 3 plus root 2 Okay, so if we rationalize this, we are going to have uh, root 3 minus root 2 all over root 3 minus root 2. And uh, if we multiply out this, what are we going to get? This is going to give us 3 times root 3. is going to be 3 root 3. 3 times minus root 2 is going to be minus 3 root 2. And then we are done. We come over here. 4 root 6 times uh, root 3 will give us uh, 4 root 18. And finally, 4 root 6 times minus uh, root 2 will be minus 4 root 12. This will be all over. Okay, so at this point, what are we going to get? So root 3 times root 3 is simply 3 and root 2 times root 2 is 2. Okay, so what do we have left here? So if the now we should note that uh, these are two compound salts, so we need to reduce them to simple salts uh, and see what we will have. Okay, so we we'll have three root three minus three root two. Now, if we reduce this, we are going to have that eighteen is sorry, that eighteen is the same thing as nine times two, which is going to give us. 3 root 2 so this 3 is going to multiply this 4 here to give us 12 root 2 and if we do the same for this we are going to have that root 12 is equal to root 4 times 2 and that's going to give us 2 root 2 and this 2 will multiply this 4 here to give us minus 8 root 2 and the whole of this is over 1 and because we are dividing by 1 so we'll get just the same value 
and so from here we are going to have uh, so we need to collect like terms now so now watch what we have here root 2 came first so we need to add these two first so minus root minus 3 root 2 plus 12 root 2 will give us 9 root 2 and then um 3 root 3 minus 8 root sorry remember this should be root 3 not root 2 sorry even from here this is a mistake sorry about that so this is supposed to be times 3 and not 2 okay and so we should have root root 3 here okay so what we're supposed to have here is 8 root 3 okay so when you bring that you are going to now have minus 5 root 3 okay and that's exactly the form we are required to put it in and but they said we should find k so therefore our k is a coefficient of root 2 which is equal to 9 and our t is a coefficient of root 3 which is equal to minus 5 and that is the required solution okay and so we go now to the next example which is the final example for this class and so what do we have here it says show that uh, without using tables or calculators that what you have on the left hand side is equal to five whenever you are giving such problem what you need to do is to simplify what you have on the left and see if you will get five you know by the end of that so now we have two fractions here containing you know salts and as, as their denominator so what do we do we need to rationalize there are two things we can do we can rationalize the two fractions individually and bring them together or we can take lcm and then whatever we have we then do our rationalization i would like to go by the first uh, approach you can try the next the other one you definitely get the same answer so we want to rationalize this and to do that i want us to try that somewhere here okay so here i have uh, two plus root three all over root three minus one so i want to rationalize it and to do that i will need to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator which is root three plus one all over the same thing okay so if i if i do the multiplication um, that's going to give me 2 times root 3 which is 2 root 3 and uh, 2 times 1 which is 2 now root 3 times root 3 is 3 and root 3 times 1 is root 3 all over over here we'll have root 3 um, sorry root 3 times root 3 which is um, 3 minus 1 times 1 is 1 Okay, and so from here, you can see that we simply have um, what now? If you add up uh, the roots first, 2 root 3 plus root 3 is going to give us 3 root 3, and then 2 plus 3 is 5. All over 3 minus 1 will give us 2. So this is what we have, and so we will bring it down here. That is uh, 3 root 3, okay? plus 5 all over 2 okay that's the simplification of this and then remember we have minus here so now we want to simplify this one let's see what that is going to give us um it won't be bad if we rule here okay so at this point so what do we do so we try to um you know rationalize this side which is root 3 minus one all over now watch here there is a product so i need to open this back here two times two is four and then minus sorry that's addition two times root three is two root three and so now to rationalize this i would need to multiply now uh let me use this i will need to multiply by the conjugate which is four minus two root three all over 4 minus 2 root 3 okay and when you open the multiplication root 3 will multiply root 3 and that's going to sorry root 3 will multiply 4 and that will give us um, 
4 root 3. Root 3 will multiply minus 2 root 3, which will give us minus 2 times 3. And then we are done with root 3. Minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 2 root 3 will give us plus 2 root 3. And that is over. Then the denominator here, 4 times 4 will give us uh, 16 minus 2 root 3 times 2 root 3 will give us 4 into 3. Okay, so at this point, uh, what are we going to have? So that's going to give us, um, so 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 6 root 3. And then minus 2 times uh, 3 is minus 6. Then minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10 all over. This is 16 minus 12, which is 4. And we can see from here that we can actually factorize something here. We can factorize out 2. And so if I bring out 2 from here, that's going to give me 2 into bracket uh, 3 root 3 minus 5 all over 4. And so at this point now, 2 can cancel. If 2 cancel here and here you have 2 left. So what you have here left is going to be um, 3 root 3 minus 5 all over 2. And immediately you can now take LCM of these two. And because they have common denominator, all you need to do is just to pick that denominator and then bring down what you have here, which is 3 root 3 plus 5 then minus because it is negative please remember to put this in bracket and so you have 3 root 3 here then minus 5 okay so from here now what do we do next so we are going to have uh, that uh, this is going to give us 3 root 3 plus 5 minus times this is going to give us minus 3 root 3 then minus times minus 5 will give us plus 5 all over 2 and of course you can see our solution is already showing up so what do we do these two will take away each other and 5 plus 5 is going to give us 10 all over 2 and 10 over 2 is exactly equal to 5 which is what we are required to show and um, that gives us the final solution that uh, we are seeking for and that's the place we'll end uh, uh, the, the class for today and like uh, always please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel like share our videos to your friends uh, who have need of them uh, see you in our next class uh, bye